Okay, this is uh, this is a knife I made. Oh, I guess about uh, about ten years ago. Uh, the sheath is leather, hand sewn, and uh, flip it over. Adequate size belt loop. Uh, down here, I've placed a uh, an eyelet so that if I fall in the in a lake or river, as I'm you know as I get out, the, the sheath will drain. That one there, people always go, "What's that one for?" And that's the old proverbial hanging on the nail on the uh, on the log cabin wall sort of deal. Which I actually do when I take my knife off when I get home. I actually have a nail in my closet and I hang it on there with my other binocular cases and things like that. Um, it's actually got an oak handle. The knife, uh, the blade itself looks a little kind of gunged up right now only because I was spreading uh, mustard with it. And it's uh, when you put mustard on a carbon steel blade, it will add, it'll actually add some patina to it. But it's a flat ground blade of 01. I guess it's about three and a half inches long. It's uh, it's only a partial tang. The tang is almost just goes down and tapers as it goes back here, and the tang actually goes to about the end of my finger there, and then it's been pinned. So it's a solid design, meaning that nothing can get into where the tang is. Basically, there's no joints on the handle. Uh, the the blade itself has been silver soldered to the brass here and it's got a Rockwell hardness of 5758 and it's been differential tempered so in other words what I've done is the blade is all very hard down here and then up here it's all soft dead soft so I can actually you could under extreme use it could bend and you could bend it back but it won't break and uh, it's just a really comfortable knife and it's just you know I've made a bunch of these for my brothers different people and it's just a real comfortable small knife to use and uh, it works really well I it's my daily carry knife so it's been going strong you know I sharpen it almost every day and it's been going strong for uh, 10 years or so and 